Hi, Tony Poulos here. Today, the theme is going to be from telco to techco, scaling for the AI first future. And to help me with that, I'm surrounded by two leaders of the industry who are readily shaping the telecoms infrastructure and landscape at the moment. Firstly, Tsetsuya Hamada, who is Hi. the CEO of KDDI Hi, Digital Nice Life. to meet you. Hi. And also Sanjay Kahl, who is the Chief Revenue Officer at Circles Group and also the Chief Executive Officer of Circles Aspire BV. Gentlemen, great to have you here. Let me start with you, Hamada-san. Tell me about the mission behind KDDI Digital Life. Yeah. We are a Japanese telecom operator. KDDI is uh, providing two major brands, AU and the UQ. And my company, KDDI Digital Life, is uh, providing uh, KDDI's third digital brand, Pobo. And uh, also, Sanjay, tell us a little bit about Circles. See, Circles was uh, born about 10 years back to disrupt the industry, you know, and the reason why we formed this company was really bringing Uberization into the telco industry. And, and that's been our mission. And uh, I think we are really, really growing fast because what we are changing is we're giving power back to the consumer. Uh, I think that's the real mission our company has. Well, telco transformation is no longer optional. It's become a race. Mm -hmm. I know it has. But why is now the defining moment for digital transformation? Oh, yeah. Thanks to rapid digital technology development. The society has been evolving so much further than we expect, right? In order to catch up such new trend, new change, teleco operator has to also change everything. However, teleco business is a really robust business, right? That's why it's like a big ferry boat. In order to maneuver a big ferry boat, it takes really long time. That's why we need a different way digital technology. Do you agree with that, Sanjay? Absolutely, 100%. And we have the enablers of creating the speedboat, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk tech. What does it mean to evolve from infrastructure heavy to AI native? Oh, yeah, that's a, also a really good question. In the past, when cloud system emerged in the world, everybody talked about the difference, process and the use, right? It's the same. Telecooperator has huge volume of fixed asset. How to move it, how to change it, it's really tough challenge always. However, use cloud system is easier, right? It's saying telecom stack enable us to change and move forward quicker, easier. Yep. You agree with that as well, I presume? Absolutely. Look, um, it's fundamental. You know, I've been in industry for 32 years. Came from the traditional world, but Today, where I am, we are actually crafting what is called BSS and CRM and MarTech with the digital at its core. Because gone are the days when you start working with a traditional system and evolve it and transform. That's never going to serve. You have to craft it from core digital ethos. And uh, I think that's truly what's enabling KDDI digital life. Because the platform is 100% cloud native, it's composable, and believe you me, code free. Any change I need to do in the market, I don't want to touch the source code. It's done at an orchestration level layer through an AI enablement. But what does it, what does a truly digital first customer journey look like today? Give us an example. Um, of course, uh, that's a good question. Um, Basically, a uh, telco business has a real touch point with the customer based on the customer shop, let's say telco shop, yep. agent, and the kiosk. And uh, you know, we are selling a telco service through uh, that direct channel to the customer. Yes. However, digital telco case, typically no physical touch point at all. Everything will be conducted by, you know, or online channel. But it's a, you know, simple example. Of course, it's not only that. Are they uh, customers ready for that, Sanjay, do you think? Absolutely. You know, uh, you'll be astonished to see that, you know, we call this category Gen D. Mm. You know, we talked about Gen Zs and Gen Alphas. But I believe even an 80-year-old who is digitally savvy and people in your and my age group, we are Gen Ds because we think digital. So today, if you look at the consumer base, 
on average, between 70 to 75 percent is evolving to be a digital generation D. And if you're not taking care of that, you have an existential crisis as a telco. I don't, I don't think we've got much choice. We have to become very digitally oriented. We are Gen D. Yeah, we're Gen D. But telcos aren't just competing with each other anymore, are they? How do you adopt a tech-first mindset in a telco? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you know, as I touched on earlier, telco company had a rotable physical channel, meaning that directly touched on the customers, right? But uh, it's always uh, supported by human work, human resource. However, thanks to digital technology, we will be able to access to variety type of customers in variety type of market, market by smartphone, by PC, whatever it is. That's why, um, in this sense, just you know, brain, human brain work by technology work is needed, right? That's why tech co is needed. Yes. And of course, we're dependent now on our handsets, for example. We're connecting constantly. And of course, the Techco concept is all about supporting that, presumably. But uh, let's talk about monetization for a moment, because we're always talking about the technology changes and the customer mm. journey changing, but how are we going to make money? What's the future beyond connectivity? Oh, that's really important questions, right? You know, traditionally, we directly approach to the market B to C, consumers, right? But nowadays, uh, there is a huge, keen competition in the market, and there is a limit in order to increase the sales force, in order to increase the sales agent, etc. But we decided, we determined to work with our partners, because there are so many types of you know, partners, potentially. SNS player, hyperscalers, video content player. They have a tremendous amount of uh, customer bases. Then actually, market eyeballs are looking at them, not looking at us. Why not work with them? So we established the SDK, Software Development Kit. We implemented our Software Development Kit into our partner's system, indirectly approach to their customer, combining with, the, combining with our connectivity. That's our new challenge and a new possibility for us. That's kind of sneaky, but a very clever way of doing it. Is. it. it Sanjay, is. you're involved with that too, presumably. No, absolutely. I think our platform enables that. So, so typically, I mean, you know, my way of connectivity is table stakes. You have a network that functions, gives you quality of services, table stakes. Yep. So you, there are four more uh, extensions we're giving to that, call it telco app or telco service. The second one we call e-commerce. It becomes like a super app. You, you have a telco app where you can go and buy, do all your e-commerce activities. Third one, your entertainment. We have also embedded AI into our app. Mm. If you have to go to chat GPD, you, you still stay with our app and you go to do whatever you have to do with AI. And then the last one, what Hamad Hassan was talking about, creating embedded connectivity with the partner. Imagine if someone is using TikTok, for example, He's staying in a train and using TikTok. A TikTok should sense that you're running out of data and a pop-up will come for Povo. You hit Povo, it gives you, you want to buy one gig, two gig, five gig, you click, you bought it. So now TikTok in this instance becomes a point of sales and imagine your cost of acquisition is zero. But your portal becomes the core point. This becomes your super telco app. Wow, this is interesting. Look, let's wrap up with something interesting here. I'm going to ask for a one-sentence answer. Mm -hmm. What's one bold move that every telco must make this year? Aionization. <laughs> Good word. Aionization. Aionization. I think we'll quote that. I think you should take that and patent it, perhaps. Aionization. Yes. It's Everybody talking about AI, AI, even today. Yeah. But there is no practical real cases a lot yet. Everybody watching it, right? Everybody watching We do. We do together with the circles. Sanjay, what's your one word, do you think? Kill the guess, yes, as quick as you can. Because don't drag this dead horse too far. It's only going to cost you. Oh, dear. And one last one. What's the one word that defines the future of telco? Teleco transformed to techco. Techco. That's it. That's got to be the case, right? Mm, yeah. And providing hyper-personalization to the customers in the market. 
Wow, that's Nirvana we're talking about. Sanjay, yours? Exactly, I think use embrace technology to create hyper-personalization. Every consumer is a segment. When you reach that state, you will create engagement, you will create motivation and higher data ARPU and that's what you need. Well, as a Gen D, I'm ready for hyper-personalization and AI-ionization or whatever that was. It was beautiful. Hamvarasan, thank you for being with me. And Sanjay, always a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you very much.